Did AI just kill artists forever? In this video, we're gonna review together three of the most exciting AI platforms ever that generate art within seconds with a couple of prompts with zero artistic experience from people like you and me. So images like this or this or this one have been generated within seconds and all of them are totally unique. So are you ready for this insane AI journey? Let's do this. So platform number one, and of course, it's Midjourney. These guys have done some insane work. With all this digital experience, I don't really get excited easily about platforms, but this platform and the way they're running the whole thing, giving the opportunity to people to create those miracles here. Check this out, guys. All these photos have been created by Midjourney from people like you and me with just a prompt. So if you scroll over, you're gonna see the prompt that this image has been created from. And you're gonna see also that the longer, more detailed and more creative the prompt, the better the outcome, like with everything. And of course, it's not just about art. People are creating also website interfaces, avatars, comic characters, book covers. I mean, it's crazy, right? So let's see how you can enter the platform and start creating art easier than ever. So go to join the beta if you're a new member. You're gonna get an invitation by their Discord group that you need to accept. Of course, you need to have a Discord account. And here you are, you are inside the channel of Midjourney. You're gonna see the channel right here. Seven million members already. 700,000 people are online as we speak. And you see in real time the art that people are creating on this platform in real time. Check these images, guys, check this out. The creativity inside the channel is insane. So if you wanna try it, go to one of these channels right here. I will go to Newbies29. And for new users, you have 25 free images that you can create. After that, you need to pay a subscription. But I think 25 is quite enough for you to familiarize with the platform, understand if it's something that you would like to pay for. Because as you're gonna see, guys, this platform can substitute graphic designers, UX designers, avatar creators, you name it. Check those images, guys. And in order to get a good understanding of what kind of prompt you need to enter in order to have a great outcome, you can check out the previous prompts that users have been using, like this one, smart, handsome, boy, cute, smile, 3D cartoon, stylized. Or check this prompt from this guy. Look how many different details he has entered inside his prompt. And once you get the outcome, you can upscale the final photo because you know, every single time that you get an image, you get four different variations. Number one, number two, number three, number four. You can regenerate in case you didn't like them. And when you choose one of them, so let's say that I want number four, you will choose upscale four and the platform will generate a high resolution image for you that you can use in any way that you want. Sell it, use it on print on demand, print a poster in your house, put it on merchandise, you name it. So let's try it ourselves. I love neon, I love cyberpunk stuff, I love fantasy. I love Marvel and superheroes, so let's try this. You're gonna go to the message thread and write Imagine. So here you get maybe the suggestion. I will write something totally crazy. Iron Man, Superman, Cyberpunk, Old Reese, Environment, 3D Features, 8K, high quality, human elements. I don't know, whatever. I just put whatever. So once you hit enter, you might lose your message because this is in real time. People are creating as we speak their own images. This is a chat. So you need to go and find your own one, but you're gonna see it like this, different color. And here guys, you can see a preview of the art that I created. I mean, I'm already excited. Let me check this one. Wow. Check this out, guys. Okay, maybe the full description was not exactly captured in the image, so the Greece element, the Greek elements, etc. But I really love all of them. Of course, you can ask to regenerate some by hitting this, but I think I will go with number one. Hit upscale, and you see that if I scroll down, I'm gonna see my upscaled image right here. In love, I'm super in love with that. I will save it and I will use it in the cover of this video. 
You can choose to make variations like that. And those are the variations I ask for. So guys, as you understand, the variations, the creativity, the changes you can do with that, because every single time you have a new photo being generated by this program, you can request changes, improvements, change your prompt, get inspiration by others. And the more you play with it, the more you improve the final outcome. Platform number two, Playground AI. A similar platform to Midjourney, it's totally free, at least today that we're creating the video. And as you're gonna see, the outcome of the art is pretty similar. It's very close quality-wise to the art that Midjourney can create. So let's try it out ourselves. It started, you need to sign in. I will sign in, hit create. And now you have your prompt position right here. You can choose the image dimensions. And to be honest, I will use the same prompt with the previous one so we can compare the platforms. So it's exactly the same prompt. You can choose a filter like Playtune, Polymode, Woody Lies. Maybe I will go with Neon Mecha. I will go with this resolution. Uh, number of images, I will go for three or four, why not? And let's hit generate and see. Well, we don't see Superman anywhere, <laughs> but they're pretty cool. Let's hit generate again. So probably it's not working very well with complicated prompts. Let's try to simplify it. So I removed some of the sentences. He generated again. And you see that you get instantly new recommendations on top of the previous ones that you have. So this is the outcome right here. And you can again upscale your image, download it, of course. So we'll try to upscale it. Check it out. Not that bad, right? But definitely mid journey is better so far. You can download here. But guys, everything is related to the prompt. The more detailed the prompt, the better the outcome. And that applies to every single AI model because all they do is machine learning. You feed them data, they provide you with outcome variations. Number three, Magic Studio Imagine. So this is brand new. I'm gonna be testing it as we speak right now. I don't know if it's good or not. Those are some of the images that have been created with this tool, as you're gonna see are not at the level of mid journey. So let's try, hit create. You need to log in first of all, describe the picture you want to create. I will go with my previous prompt. I'll go with apocalypses. I'll choose this square image. No, I will go with portrait, hit create. And let's see what we're gonna get. Check it out. We lost Superman again. <laughs> I don't know why. They keep missing Superman. More pictures like this one. Uh... You see here the prompts, for example, Chris Hemsworth as Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. as Thor. They shift roles. I will try again. I'll give it another chance. So I will make it simple. Iron Man meeting Superman. Cyberpunk mode. And cut everything else out. Cinematic. I'll go with a smaller one. Hit create. And let's see. Again, no Superman. I don't know what's wrong with this prompt. So let's try something else this time. I'll go with Iron Man. Cyberpunk style, neon colors. I'll go with apocalypses, the portrait one, hit create. And here you are. Not bad at all. You can download like this. And this is your image. Totally original. You can use it wherever you want. Yes, finally, I want to try a bonus. I will show you something that Canva is offering. So if you open any design that you have, any previous project, whatever, Let's go with a new one just to give you a showcase of what you can do. I will go with a story size. So you need to have the premium version right here. Go to apps, go to text to image. And now you have a prompt AI image generator like we had in the previous example. So I will try a prompt like Iron Man, cyberpunk style, neon elements. Hit generate. See guys. This option is coming everywhere. Every single platform that has to do with creation like Canva or Envato Elements or whatever, they're going to integrate an AI image generator so you can have original photos instead of using stock images that everybody else are using. So check it out. I got my images that I can use directly in my image like this and use it on the spot, right? Not bad at all. Put this here. Of course, you can start again. Generate image. I will play a bit. Let's see what else we're going to get. Now, you see that those are a bit blurry. They're not at the level that we had in Mid Journey example. So for me, it's a clear winner. Yeah, you might say, okay, it's expensive after the first 25 images. But guys, innovation comes at a cost. The computing power that these guys are using to generate those images is insane. I'm pretty sure they're spending 
tens of millions of dollars in computing power servers in order to be able to serve all those people, the 7 million people in the group, generating images to all together. So guys, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Support the channel. New incredible gems, AI-related, are coming very soon. So until next time, simply hustle.